Got a date with three curse swords. Possible fourth curse sword. Curse sword in each hand, one in the mouth. Where's the other curse sword go? Hope I'm having a good day. I might not in about 10 minutes. Curse sword attempts in dead cells. Maybe at that point, you know, the day is already gone. So the way how we're going to do this today is we're going to try some curse sword attempts at 5 BC. Because if I just beat 0 BC, that means I have to do it all over again on 5 BC. The other piece to it is I wanted to play this with only the curse sword. I know there's a lot of people out there who've done curse sword runs. There's people who do it with specific equipment, things like last rank aura, fire grenade, um, corrupted power. I've seen that before. I want to say the only thing we're going to do is hunter's grenade for the bonus stats. Literally the only thing we have access to are curse swords. Does he have what it no, takes to no, get to no. the first boss damage. in the game? We're dead. Maybe he doesn't. We don't know. Curse sword attempt number one. Almost lost it immediately. What do you do? You got rats? You got inquisitors? You do kind of want to move like relatively quickly because of the malaise. Um, I feel like you probably want to sell stuff. No shield. Mm -mm. Like I said, there's... There's a lot of different ways to do this run. And when I was thinking about it, because I always get requests like, Hey V, when's the curse sword run? And when I'm thinking about it, I don't really want to do a curse sword where I have like... A, a, an owl. That's the best way to describe it. Lazarating Aura by itself is also like pretty decent as an example. Like I don't want anything to interfere with the actual run. Everything should be Curse Sword and that's it. I should have taken that. I really want like victims freeze nearby enemies or something. Sick duck. Oh, I thought I was dead. Now, there's a world where you, like, skip by some of this stuff. What, what Yo, happened? coach! What I just want a dump truck. Equals slash. <laughs> See, that's everybody. Everybody wants the dump truck nowadays. Mutations. Yes, I am allowed mutations. Which I don't think, like, outright ignore the fact I have a uh, curse sword. Even though I think there's a little bit of that going on. So all of that's legal. The main thing that's not legal is buttons. <laughs> You're not allowed to have buttons in the curse sword run. This is how a curse sword run is done. Look at the calm man. Talk in the chat. Easy way to die. Wait. How in the world did I miss this scroll? Like, was that in the one second I looked at chat? Huh. Yeah, no armadillo pack. Because no shields. <laughs> Poisons the enemy. No victims uh, freeze, though. What about rifts? Yeah, we'll do challenge rifts. If I see them. Where in the world is Promenade down here? Where is this place? I'm lost. I don't even know if I really care for Promenade in this setup, but I imagine... I forgot the Hunter's Grenade. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. That's fine. That one didn't count. That was a freebie. Is Dead Cells my favorite roguelike? Um... 
I want to say yes. So I've played a few roguelikes at this point. Um, I do think out of the ones that I have played, Dead Cells probably hits the most marks for me. Um, are there other like good ones I would put in like a top like tier, tier S, tier A, whatever? I think so. We're giving it a little bit of a try because we are going to be next gaming it a little later. Yeah, I don't have a ton of time to do like a viewer build or something. What are those other high tier roguelikes? So, like, not everyone cares for it, but I do put Isaac up there. Because I think, like, the game changes so much run by run. It's actually, like, super entertaining. Um, but Gungeon, even though I know for a fact Gungeon does, you know, move very well game by game. Um, I don't care for Gungeon too much. So, like, if I had the option, I wouldn't put that, like, as high on the list. That's not to say that there's anything wrong with other people playing it. Those, those Wormettes are gonna kill me, I think. That's really, really bad. We'll see, though. Um... I put one step from Eden up there, even though like story-wise, it's probably like a, a C or lower. Um, it's just like one of the most entertaining games for me. Hades up there, of course. See the Wormettes? How they're gonna start aggroing monsters. It's kinda bad. No, 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 no. Look at that damage. We're dead. Um, what else would I put in that? Can't even think of my own library. Risk of Rain 2, I don't know if I would put that in my uh, tippity top. Like, maybe not an S, but a solid A. I enjoy the game a lot, but in terms of like, oh, is this run any different than my other runs? Maybe not. I feel like that to me is my favorite part about a roguelike, is the runs being like very, very different from each other. <laughs> Landlord in the S tier, you might be right. <laughs> Double S. Crap, where am I? Okay. I got scared. Noita? I haven't played Noita. They have a really good uh, Twitch integration mode, though. That I would really like to try at some point. Do you have to actually kill the boss for prediction? No, we just have to get there. Look at me looking at chat, by the way. Oh, they tried to get us. Trying to catch me sleep. Um. There was a vid I saw the other day. Um, that I don't know the name of the channel, but they did some roguelike reviews. Like 20 roguelike games in my Steam library. And I reviewed all of them. And I would love to do one of those one of these days. Doesn't really have to be a tier list or something like that. I kind of want the double jump. I'm going to leave it for right now. See how it goes after the Wormettes? Wait, what? <laughs> Why is this here? I have everything turned off. I just went curse swords. <laughs> They're trying to make me cheat. I'm gonna get disqualified. Do y'all think I need to go to prison depths or no? 
Do you think you're you're free to just go straight to the uh the bosses? That's a star. See, even with, uh, say, turrets, for example, we could take turrets and sit on top of a cleaver or throw a cleaver down a hallway, and then the monsters die to the cleaver or the Tesla coil. And I feel like, not that it's cheating, I just don't really want to do that. I want to only have Cursor. Should be good because you have to no hit the bosses anyway. Damage helps though. I don't think we can hit boss cap unless we get some kind of like busted synergy. Like this. And then you go open wounds. That'll kill a boss. Absolutely. Dual buying? If we get the legendary, maybe. Maybe not, though. Alright, going up. Uppity up. It's almost like a pseudo speed run. Um, but I do kind of want stats. I kind of don't like ramparts either. There's a lot of bats on this map. I feel like that could be bad. We have invisibility at least. That's the T. Um, I'm gonna chug here. Wow, that malaise barely went down at all. Mm-hmm. I see. So the other strat that we learned from the homie Cosmender was to try to keep your malaise as low as possible. The health flasks, they don't do anything. Except emergency triage. This again, wow. Um, so there actually might be a world where you go emergency triage as your third mutation. I need to check down there. That's awful. Told the <laughs> situation's awful. See the victims freeze nearby? Super helpful. I almost down slammed just then. Uh, have you found that doing 0 to 5 speedruns has helped me identify dead ends and paths and biomes? At least ramparts, yes, when it comes to like knowing where black bridge might be sepulcher i'm still really bad at reading prison quarters we did figure out so that's that's kind of good but everyone like even if you don't speed run you'll eventually realize that oh toxic sewers is always in the vine rune area um no scrolls can be in the vine rune area Something chasing me? It's freaking rat. That's bad. Nice elite. Chat. Yo, Zip! What happened? What happened? Hey V, how are you? Um, how am I? I don't want to say it's a loaded question. I'm as good as a curse sword player can be. That helps. I hope it does. Let's try to skip that. Do I even need to be down here? Imagine if that killed me. <laughs> Unfollow, unsub. He just stood there and got hit by that. Okay, Inquisitor below me. That's transforming. Lovely.
Ooh. I didn't kill that. Am I weak? I have 11 brutality. We got the predator, we got the freezing. We found the exit. I can't leave though, I still feel really weak. If there's anyone out there who's been doing the cursor run, has the tech. You're more than welcome. This might be a backseat friendly stream today. If you want a backseat, now's your chance. You got 10 V-Bucks riding on this. Yo, you're about to make some bank today. We're about to hook you up. Actually, I could have just walked into Concierge and you all would have gotten payment. And here I am, like, exploring the rest of the map. <laughs> oh wait, the alien. That's really bad. Uh, hey Quinn, good to see you. All right, I'm just trying to keep an eye out for scrolls. Even though we were saying that, you know, Cursor by itself is really strong. You want to at least have scrolls. Kind of sucks because I don't like know the scroll counts. Off the top of my head. And I haven't gotten a single um, thingy either. Scroll fragment. Let's just try to go for Concierge. Maybe with the open wounds, it won't feel too, too bad. Uh, does Cursor crit because you don't have any other items or abilities? They buffed it, so it now crits on every swing. It does not have a non-critical attack. Alright, we made it! Rule first! World premiere Concierge versus Cursor. Alright, I'm gonna bring this in. This is the V.me tech right here. The emergency triage. Get the bubble and keep swinging. That's how we're gonna beat con <laughs> Concierge. Just like that. Alright. Aura. Yep, Aura's the first move. We're dealing some chunksters. I like what I'm seeing. I hate that I go past him. It helps to double jump before you go through that. Please die. Oh, okay. Whew. All right, what do we got? Nothing. All right, so this is the tough part right here. Fractured Shrine. Well, maybe I don't have to go Fractured if I get a good enough Curse Sword here. Right? We want the cash. Wow, that's a big Curse Sword, too. Maybe this is, like, the other reason why you turn off all the weapons. To guarantee that you can get, like, a Giga Curse Sword. Yeah, that one had bonus to bleeding. So this one is just straight up better than the last one. Alright, double damage maybe? Does it exist? It doesn't. 
Hmm. I wonder if you still go to Fractured Shrine to get another one. What boss is best? We're definitely going to Giant. So we can skip. So... I think you could do Conjunctivious if you try really hard, but... I don't know, maybe that's a little scary. You're kind of doing it just for the extra scroll fragment. Uh, no, the green scrolls on the Hunter's Grenade. I had to actually double check that. It's like, I'm pretty sure I didn't screw up. Why am I on this map? Oh my god! Oh, we gotta get- we gotta make sure we don't get sniped again. Wait, what? Every time I've come to this map, I've died from getting sniped by a snake. <laughs> Dirty rats <laughs> running around in the bushes. No, you can say snakes. When did we like evolve beyond calling people like who hide in bushes in battle royales? When did we evolve from calling them snakes to calling them rats? Does anybody know? I like the idea of snake. Excuse me, of snake because like if they're prone in the bush, like they're on their bellies, that sounds a little more like a snake than a rat to me. Maybe I'm just out of my loop of the um like the shooter meta out there. Ah, <laughs> nice bird. Perfectly placed bird just then. Does that kill? Imagine if that kills you. It's like one inch below your feet. The nice thing about this map is you get a really good map reveal. Please die. All right. Give me the double damage curse sword. What? Things are <laughs> kind of garbo. Uh, does two times, four times work with Curse Sword? I want to say you should be able to get it on the Legendary. That's kind of why we're here right now. It's to prove it. But maybe I was... I was capping. That's what the kids say, right? I've yet to hear cap in like a natural environment. The most recent time that like I heard someone say cap was on TikTok, unfortunately. But like it was a prank and I guess a TikTok prank is probably like still um, scripted. So I still kind of can't believe they were actually thinking to say cap in reference to lying. But the kid was actually saying that, no, this is like my phone, no cap. I'm not capping with you. This is legit my phone. And I was like, wait. I thought that was a joke. I didn't know people actually said that. Well, they're kids. Am I going to get shot by this thing? No. There might be adults out there saying uh, no cap. 
Again, I just might be the only one out of the loop. I don't even... Oh my god, that bird. Streamer is a TikTok viewer. Feels bad. <laughs> I, I'm sorry I just ruined your head cannons, the last one. I take it back. I have yet to see TikTok. To be truthful, like 100% truthful, it's not on my phone. We we have like a burner phone down here that I installed TikTok on. So there's a little bit of boomer in there. That snake. This is bad. Okay, we live. We live. We do this all day. It's a freaking scroll over there. Wow, the invisibility is so nice. The, the rat just jumped off! <laughs> Rip rat, can you get some Fs in the chat? For that rat? Gone too soon. Okay. Like, if I can just ID the tower... I don't really have to clear the tower. I just need to see if there's scrolls. Oh, that thing got destroyed. Wait, there's another one? There were two bombers there. Something spawned. Yo, thank you for that posture check. I'm, um... I'm one of those people who, you know, when they're gaming, they're kind of in... I might be able to show it. They're in, like, this stance. Looking at the screen, looking at, you know, Madden. Or MLB The Show that I have back there for the PS5. I can't sit back in my chair when I play video games. It, it's bad. That's why we have the posture check. So I am literally in gamer position right now. This weird little section right there. Same here, yeah. Like I would not ever sit back in my chair unless someone, in this case Twitch chat, told me to. Oh my goodness. What's nice about the invisibility is that when monsters spawn, they actually will de aggro you. This is a terrible position to be in. Okay, so Bombardier's gone. We just have to kill that. Am I safe? <laughs> Absolutely not. Oh, this map still goes. I thought I died just then. I got scared because I didn't want to land on the, uh, the trap. It's like, where am I supposed to go right now? Jeez. I have a lot of map left. Uh, doesn't Buster keep you moving? By touching your cables and stuff. Um, I mean, yeah, I do move around. But, like, without anything else, I am in gamer position, for the most part. Okay. 
Matt reveal. Nice. This is actually perfect. No! Alright. This is okay. Look at my malaise, too. Let's, um... Let's buy... We want to keep the malaise low to keep the monster spawns low. Nice. <laughs> that was a really good aura just then. Uh, hello from your French vacay. Yo, moose shots. That's awesome. Don't get shot. Don't get pecked. Yeah, we'll be going on vacay in a couple months. First vacation in a long, long time. Um, does the down slam always interrupt? From a certain distance, yes. But we had a run where, like, I only had a, a shield, I think. And I was trying to do down slams on the top of a monster. Uh, just in its face, and it wouldn't die very easily. So I would say because of that, it probably wasn't getting stunned. So, we have a cheaper curse sword. We're gonna roll this a little bit to see if we can get double damage. Okay! Confirmed! Winnable! Do I even need scrolls anymore? Can I just go straight to uh, the, the giant? Do we have enough curse swords in our inventory? <laughs> I have two. I need one more. Cat here. As a reminder, at 9 o'clock, we will next game it to Monster Hunter Stories 2. BT dubs. That's for good luck. I think I de -aggro? No, I still had the crab. That was really dangerous, how I got up that. I think if the uh, Amumu pounced on me, I would have died. I don't know if I could have dodged it. Remember, I remember using a mod which gave every item triple damage dealt. Yeah, there's like rapid fire mods and all kinds of cool stuff out there. Yo, the invisibility coming in clutch right now. But if the monster starts swinging, it still gets off the swing. Like, most monsters don't just stop. There's some good damage. What numbers have you seen so far? We dealing hundreds of millions of damage or thousands of millions of damage? One hundred thousand million damage. Thousand degree curse sword. That's gonna be the thumbnail for this video. One thousand degree curse sword cuts through Hand the King like butter. Though the point of the new curse sword was to instinct spam, yeah. But like I said, we had to kick this up a notch. I didn't want to just do lacerating aura spam with curse sword. That's bad. Got commit. Think you leave that or let it teleport? Oh, 
Holy smokes. I should have taken that. The elite aggroed and did a laser. Did you all see that? I did not mean to jump down there. Hold up. Um, um... Back it up a little bit. Yeah, see? Alright, so one of them chased after me. We're just gonna give the, uh... A Mumu a little bit of time. He's a little slow moving around. Okay, maybe that's enough time. He stayed... This is like actually kind of scary. V dot S is in the chat. Lights in front of us. Time to grab some tortilla chips and hundred layer curse sword. Oh my goodness, dip. Do I have triple jump? No. I'm gonna drink here. Yo, that bubble didn't last at all. I thought maybe I could, like, use the bubble and, like, walk all the way up, but that was, um... Mm-hmm. Game had something else in mind. Can I just find the stuff and leave? I just need the key. Okay, so the giant's above me. Need light? Like, even though you go invisible and there's like enough monsters to keep going invisible, it's still super stressful. Am I going the right way? Is there a world where this is the wrong way? Do you have pocket light? I do. <laughs> I, I didn't think about that. It's just my good luck charm. If I lose a light, then we're losing half our luck. I can't press it. Up. Up is the exit. Hopefully, I don't need any more scrolls because I don't really want to look for any more. You piece of crap. <laughs> okay, I gotta go down. Oh, invisibility for the win. Okay, a crab turned into an elite. But as I said, I think you leave. We don't stick around anymore. Tainted flask. With emergency triage. Is that legit? Porky pack? That's not half bad either. And then I have to reset two more times. I have to reset after Hand of the King. And I have to reset before spoiler. Okay, so guaranteed, it's open wounds, triage. And then I have to choose either between, I guess scheme means I'm pressing a button, not curse sword. And I feel like that's cheating. Tainted flask means that like I kind of want to use the flask and at least hand of the king. Um, but we know for a fact the Porky Pack will hit. Just in case I don't end up using a health flask. 
Maybe that's the move. Yeah, so open wounds is typically there because you would have a cursed sword that does bonus damage to bleeding target. Um, I don't have that right now. Because we have better than that. But that's basically why the open wounds is there. It does help move the needle. And I feel like it's not cheating. The whole point of us doing this was we don't want anything besides the curse sword getting in the way of victory. Gotta shake it out a little bit. We'll be fine. Hope this thing just dies instantly. That's double damage. Okay. <laughs> I think that counts as dying instantly. I'm okay with that. Yo, and we get a scroll for it? And the king, you're next, baby. Come on, where you at? Got a date with three curse swords. Possible fourth curse sword. Curse sword in each hand, one in the mouth. Where's the other curse sword go? That was Pog. Oh yeah. Okay, this could be stronger. Yo, the wall of curse swords. Yo, I'm I'm hypey right now. 27 brutality that is not average that is below average we we have it we have a d in stats right now okay let's roll this a couple times i kind of want to save my money for emergency triage potions but i could maybe get double or quad okay you know what that's already worth removing the needle 31 million damage on the curse sword <laughs> let's get no, in here no, no, again no. if damage. i lose or anything i'm already happy i'm satisfied Knock on wood. Face skip hand of the king? I don't know if that's possible. Maybe if I had, because like you would have to seven hit him. Maybe if I took the actual tainted flask here. Like drink immediately, roll through, and then try to seven hit kill him. Like something tells me that's not possible though. But next time we get in here, we'll try that. And I'm definitely taking it. Or, um, spoiler. Tainted Flask, that is. Yeah, I don't think it's possible to hit Boss Cap on this thing. It's like his health is just too high, and even though you're doing double damage, you can't possibly deal like a million damage per hit. So like the Curse Sword's dealing 400k DPS. Even if no, we double no, it no. with Tainted Flask, damage. I We're don't dead. think you can hit, you, I don't think you can 7 hit the thing. Quiet damage is needed. Big need right there. Big need. And I will say that this last biome by far is the most difficult one for this build. That's why I was saying that the idea of doing the curse sword challenge. 
to be able to take in last ring aura fire grenades telluric shocks rampart shields all of that stuff that makes the last map easier because imagine shantae is off in the distance you just toss over a uh, powerful grenade clear it out and you're fine throw hunter's grenade at shantae if you have to i wish that did something i have the skins for it but that would be a strat i think if you don't have the skin from the enemy you just throw a hunter's grenade and turn it into a regular green zombie is that legit or is that cheating sag i don't even have a plan like part of it was if i'm in supreme danger all you do is you chug but like i don't really have a, a reliable way to kill them i don't have predator that's gonna be interesting okay we gotta come down here so i was gonna say at least with predator maybe i can run away from it let's aggro this thing nope oh it didn't see me crap I'm so scared right now. Porky pack though. There's a Shantae above me, right? Oh, no head allowed either. The other idea is that you could just use the uh, homunculus rune on every single librarian. Um, but I'm going to say that that's also banned. Bird? Porky pack. I am taking my sweet time in this map. This is not going to be the speed run anymore. Like everything on this map can actually kill me. Shantae? I gotta go down there. I did not have to go down there. It was actually a dead end. Are you kidding me? wonder if I need that. <laughs> A little warm up for the last fight you said? I need to kill that elite. Hello? I'm gonna let this transform. Okay. I need to fight this. Crap! <laughs> My amulet! And it's garbage. We are only looking for red and purple on scrolls. Yo, I gotta say, not having the predator changes this so much. It's like 10 times harder. Okay. It's a librarian up there. 
There it is. You can just go up when it goes away. They aggroed me. I'm stressed. And I have to go up that tower too? Oh my god. With no homunculus rune. So like I can't drag anything down at all. <laughs> I think we made a big mistake. Alright, the other elite must be back there somewhere. I almost jumped into the darkness. All right. We got the cough syrup. No more coughs. No, no more runny noses. What? It's trolling. <laughs> yeah, it's actually trolling. Wow. You know what? You can stay up there for all I care. Every kill gets us just a little closer to where we need to be. <laughs> eight minutes left to finish. I kind of feel as though this will be done in eight minutes. <laughs> Thank you for the heads up. We are going to next game it after this run, by the way. I thought we weren't, but apparently the time lined up perfectly. If you all could stick around for the uh, Monster Hunter stream. Would definitely mean a lot to me. Big appreciation for uh, anyone who can do that. There's a sponsored setup. Small creator like me, sometimes you don't get the uh, the privilege to do that kind of thing. And especially as someone who isn't like a Monster Hunter pro player. They just know I have uh, World and Rise. I own it. So they're like, okay, we'll give you one chance. This is bad. Go down, maybe? Okay. Because basically the magistrate there could have just killed me. It's the birds. They're just birds and bombers. So easy to die to those things. All right. You wonder if the roll by itself could kill these monsters. It has a terrible cooldown. That's the problem. Or else, like, we did a Sonic the Hedgehog run. I don't know if you saw that as the last one. Where I wasn't allowed to use a primary or secondary weapon. The only thing I was allowed... was Porky Pack. Some people actually go towards the bullets to do this. I still thought I screwed it up. Like, how many times have I jumped up that? Okay, if we open the door and go left, I want to say there's nothing over there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's, um... That's no good.
And it's protected too. Are you? I was looking up. Oh my God. That's what I was talking about. For doing the, um, the malaise bar monsters spawn. And you want to keep the malaise down as far as possible. The monsters spawn from malaise teleport it to me and like give to me in the back. Hey, Alisar, how am I doing? You know, just to say that I am not feeling that bad. I am actually okay with that. Really bad last area. If that monster didn't turn into an elite and wasn't protected as well, the one and only curse sword attempt there. What do you all think though? Is that the hit? <laughs> Next time use YOLO. You might be right. This needs to go to YouTube. I don't mind putting this one up because we did make it like a decent distance and it didn't take too long.